have heard of life coaching? How many of you worked with a coach? <laughs> my name is Joyce Fiansowski and my company is named Joy Coaching. When I named my company, I was using a play on my name, Joyce Joy, and it backfired on me because one of my clients called me Joy for the first month of coaching. Today I hope to offer you, uh, to tell you a little bit about coaching and what, it, what the benefits are for coaching. So first of all, what is coaching? Now sometimes I get the question, what is coaching? And people think that coaching is someone to tell you what you should do. And if you do everything that that person tells you to do, then your life will be perfect. Well, I'm here to tell you that that isn't coaching, that is your mother in law. <laughs> <laughs> coaching isn't therapy. Some people work in therapy. Therapy works in the past and fails, <clears throat> where coaching works in the future and creates. It's not consulting. A consultant is an expert who might tell you what to do about your business. It's not mentoring. A mentoring mentor works with their experience and tells you how to live your life. It's not training. A teacher or a, or a trainer has their own agenda and basically you learn based on their schedule. And it's not an athletic coach. Trust me, you wouldn't want me to coach your little league. So what is coaching? Coaching is about you. It's about you creating your own life. It's your agenda. You are the creative one. I am the support to you. I ask you powerful questions and I listen to you to get your, to your wisdom and I give you feedback. And ultimately it's a partnership. It's your wisdom and your actions that create your life. So a little bit about me. I'm back, my background is software development and so one of the things that people ask me is how do you go from software development to coaching and actually I do both right now and eventually in my life I hope to do coaching full-time but it's ultimately you're making projects you're writing pro you're in, in software development that you also do in in uh, coaching so it's similar similar things the only thing is, is you're working with someone's life versus someone's software my purpose is to empower creative people to make a difference in the world and my vision is to inspire people to, with self-development and expression, and everybody lives their purpose, and we create joy-filled lives. And my values, you can see them awareness, feedback, improvement, faith, courage, and fun. So I'm gonna do a little exercise with you, something I do with my clients. So to start off, and it's what is your vision? So imagine yourself, you in the future, it can be any time in the future, it can be now, Six months from now, five years from now, ten years from now, you get to just choose. What's your life going to be? What are your relationships? Money. Um, spirituality. What are you going to be doing? What about your well-being? What about your romantic relationships? Does anybody would like to share any of their vision? <laughs> All right. Five years from now, I hope to be a battlefield guide for National Park. Wow. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Back there? Uh, five years from now, I hope to be a published author. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? We're going to take those goals and we're going we're to take those visions and make goals out of them. <clears throat> what we try to do with the goals is make our goals to be smart. By SPART, we are looking at specific, measurable, achievable results in time. Now, I gave this presentation at my sales class, and the first person came up and he said, I want to make lots of money. Now, one of the things that we want to ask about that goal, is it specific? Well, it's not specific because it doesn't indicate how much money. So, it says, I want $1 million. He and I kind of figured it out. He and I were in the same wavelength because when I said that we have lots, then he came up with one million. It's kind of funny. Anyway, um, is this measurable? Well, um, a want isn't actually measurable. I can't tell you whether you actually achieved it because you still want it. 
I have a million dollars. If I say I have a million dollars, I can look in your bank account or I look somewhere else to indicate whether you have that money. Results. Well, to make it results, it has to be something that you did to create that. So I would say I earn one million per year by writing a book. So what it took to create that, that goal. And then is this time bound? Well, it doesn't exactly say which year. So what about next year? Can anybody see anything wrong with this particular goal? Achievable. Next year doesn't come. Next year always will be next year. So it would be better to say, I earned one million dollars in 2011. Or even better yet, before 1231-2011. Achievable. Now what might be achievable but for you might not be achievable for me. So in order to make a goal achievable, there's two things you can do. One is stretch out the time and the other is reduce the goal. So if I earn one million before 12-16-2021. <laughs> Yay. So what are you going to do with that goal you created? A goal. A goal without a plan is just a wish. You may have heard this expression or seen similar ones out on the internet, but I'll tell you mine. A vision without a goal is an illusion. A goal without a plan is make-believe. A plan without action is rubbish. An action without focus is a waste of time. What are you going to do with the goal you created? As your coach, I support you to create vision, smart goals, a plan, and actions, and accountability, which means that you will achieve your goals faster, have a partner, and have fun. Yay! <laughs> so what are you going to do with the goal you created? I asked you, I asked you to think about hiring me as your coach, or if you're interested, refer me to somebody who might be interested in having a coach. Thank you for your time, and uh, Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>